Coming up next, five line marking tips, including how to bend car parking to topo surfaces. Out of the box, Revit car park families are set to the parking category, which one would think makes sense. However, let's see how well this hosts onto the topo surface. As shown, when I place the family on a sloped section, it hovers just above the surface and at a different gradient. And even if I try to rehost, there is no improvement. So tip one is to change the category to entourage and ensure that always vertical is not selected. Then reload and watch closely to see what impact this has. The family has now hosted onto the topo surface and perfectly matches the gradient. Tip two is to use visibility toggles. Let's have a look at how that plays out. Here I have created an arrow family in the entourage category. Over on the properties palette, I have added a toggle to switch between two arrow types. Likewise, I have created two types of lines, a continuous line and a stop line. And likewise, these have toggles for easy manipulation. To create this, place both arrow types in the same family, then use the visibility radio button on the properties palette in conjunction with yes no parameters. And finally, add the formula as shown. And now, for the money shot, as they say, tip three is to bend the car park to topo surface contours. No matter how extreme the undulations, the family will drape over just like a covering. I'm sure you will agree that is pretty cool. But how is it done? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's have a look. In the Viz graphics, I will uncover the secret within. The driving force is an entourage placeholder. The family is actually an in-place mass, driven by multiple instances of an entourage placeholder. Closer inspection shows the mass has been hosted to each of the entourage instances. Next, host the mass on each of the placeholders using the spline through points tool, just like I've shown you on the screen now. I like to make the points visible so that when flexing I can see if all is working as it should. Finally, create the form.
To create the line thickness, you will need to host a secondary point to each node. You can even go as far as setting up a parameter to control thickness, like shown. To learn more about this, check out my massing video collection by clicking on the link at the top of your screen now. Now, watch what happens as I flex by moving the placeholders. Remember, these placeholders will be hosted to the topo surface. Wow, that's pretty cool. Then, to make the family easier to move, group the elements together. Now, we have multiple entourage families visible, including the placeholder, but we don't want to see the placeholder. So tip four is how to hide the placeholder without having to turn off the whole of the entourage category. Simply create an object style. Here I've created one and I've named it hide for obvious reasons. I then draw the line using that object style. So now back in the project, I can go to the Viz graphics and I can deselect that object style only while leaving on all of the other entourage elements. Tip five, export as a group to use in other projects, then insert into a new project also as a group. To rehost, ungroup, select all of the placeholders and rehost, then regroup with a new name. That's the end of the tutorial, and I hope that you found it useful and interesting. If you did, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button, and I'll catch you in the next video.